Wildlands Conservancy is, is the Lehigh Valley's local land trust. Uh, we're a conservation organization that works to protect open space, uh, to, to create trails and greenways, to educate the community and improve the water resources of the Lehigh Valley and the Lehigh River watershed. Well, Wildlands Conservancy uh, is a nonprofit organization that's focusing here on the Lehigh Valley uh, to ensure that we continue to have open spaces. We do a lot of work to uh, protect land. Uh, we've actually conserved uh, uh, over, almost 50,000 acres of open space in eastern Pennsylvania, majority of that right here in the local community. We also have 11 preserves totaling 2,500 acres. Uh, we manage and maintain those for the ecological and uh, uh, specialness and, and uniqueness that those properties provide. Land protection perspective, we do that work on a daily basis. Uh, we also do uh, water quality improvement work, uh, education work, and recreational trail development and enhancement. Uh, work on a daily basis. We're very fortunate that this community uh, has responded very well to, to, to wildlands and, and the community is very um, receptive to, to the work of wildlands and actually very knowledgeable about the importance of uh, protection of our open space and the importance of connecting our open spaces together and the importance of connecting particular children uh, to the natural environment of the Lehigh Valley. We're at the Pool Wildlife Sanctuary and this is one of 11 preserves uh, um, owned and managed by Wildlands Conservancy. It's probably our flagship preserve uh, because it's uh, home to the offices of Wildlands Conservancy. Uh, it's also home to our Environmental Education Center uh, which serves uh, services about 15,000 students a year uh, for environmental education programming. Uh, the property was bequeathed to us by Leonard Parker Poole, who is a founder of Air Products and Chemicals. And in his will, he wanted this property to be open to the public and be utilized for um, exposing people to, to, to the natural environment. We feel very strongly uh, that if people understand the natural world around them, if they have an opportunity to connect to it and, and have fun in it and, and, and experience it firsthand, they're going to develop a sense of stewardship for that natural environment and work towards its protection and enhancement. Oh yeah, it's great. We, we have um, a little over 500 education programs that we, that we do a year uh, on an annual basis, focusing mostly on children uh, and to some degree uh, inner city uh, youth as well. Uh, but uh, we also do education uh, programming for, for adults and again it's all designed to provide an opportunity for people to have a positive experience, learn about the environment and become stewards of the natural resources around them. This is Cleopatra and Cleopatra is a bull snake. They're not native to Pennsylvania but their cousins, rat snakes and pine snakes are from on the east coast. A bearded dragon. He gets his name because when he gets really irritated this beard pops out and it shows all his little spikes and it turns, depending on species, either bright red like flames or black. This is our friend Hannibal and he's a screech owl. And you find screech owls all over the Northeast. He is a grown up, this is all the bigger that he will get. This is Archimedes and he's one of our rescue owls that could not be released into the wild. She has an injured wing so she can fly a little bit but not enough to feed herself. When we talk about involvement in, in, in conservation, it can be as simple as, as, as recycling at home and turning off the water uh, when you're brushing your teeth in, in, in the morning. Uh, and it also can take uh, additional roles as well, uh, being a leader in your community, uh, being involved in, in, in your municipality, volunteering for a local conservation organization, coming and, and coming to one of our education programs, uh, going out on a local trail, coming out in one of our volunteer events are all ways in which individuals can, can make a difference and a significant difference as well in their local environment, feel part of something uh, and give uh, an opportunity to give back uh, to the environment. We like to think that we're creating stewards and we're creating the entire next generation of environmental stewards right here in the Lehigh Valley that appreciate nature, understand nature, and work towards, towards its protection. So the next generation, I'd love to see a Lehigh Valley that is connected, and the green spaces are, are connected together in a way that we have a network of greenways and corridors and protected open spaces that provide ecological value, recreational value, and also economic value to this community. That Wildlands Conservancy can't accomplish this alone. Uh, we need significant support from the community in order to, to make, uh, make our work possible uh, and to make the work of, of, of your land trust possible. Stay tuned for a trip to Popular Shop Home and Planet.